Good morning, dear participants. Welcome to our next session. If you are ready, we will begin our lesson with one warm-up activity. Let's begin. This warm-up activity is called I spy with my little eye something. Here I will add the color of this object. And this object is existed in this classroom. I will look at this object then tell the color you should guess what is it is it clear for you if yes we will begin i spy with my eye something white so what is it yes you are right it was wall now listen again I spy with my little eye something black and now I invite the winner group here come to me I will give you your gifts now dear winners you can choose any hat you want any color you wish each of you can take one of these hats and now I will distribute this little hat to other groups take your hats so dears, what do you think? What is the theme of today's lesson? Okay, I will help you. If you remember, in our first warm-up activity, we played a game. I spy with my little eye something blue, for example. In this game, we use several colors. And then I gave you several hats. And what colors are they? White, red, yellow, green, and black so we have six hats and our theme is six thinking hats now dears let's discuss what colors do you have and what does this color mean what do you think what kind of people are who like white color yes please kind okay i will write your answer here kind Let's move to the next color, red. What do you think? What does this mean? And what about blue? Friendly. Okay. Now, if you are ready, let's discuss your ideas with real facts. First of all, let me tell about the author of this method. So, the author of this method is Dr. Edward de Bono. He is a French psychologist and he created this method in order to develop pupils' critical thinking. So, our first color is yellow. You said that yellow color is the color of funny people. And let's check the real facts. Dr. Edward de Bono gave these questions for yellow colors. So, first question is what are the good points? Next question, what are the benefits? If you pay attention, all questions are positive questions and they are about optimism, positive view and opportunities. So, we can say that yellow color is a color of positive people. And we will write here the word positive. Actually, you were close to right answer, so funny is close to positive, so I can say that you will write. So let's make one little activity with these colors. Who has yellow hats? Show me. We have lots of yellow hats participants, so this question is for you. What are the good points of being tall? You should answer to this question. Please think positively and you should tell only positive sides of being tall. Our next color is black. You said that people who like black color, they are serious and bad. And let's check with the real facts. I will read the question. Is this true? Will it work? What are the weaknesses? What's wrong with it? So pay attention to the word weaknesses wrong so all these questions are negative so with one word we can say that black color is a negative color next color is red so you mentioned that red color is the color of sensible people 
Now let's check it. Edward de Bono says that this color is the color of feeling. So you were right. It's the color of sensible people. So we can say that it's the color of emotions. Let's move to the next color. Our next color is white. You said that white color is a color of kindness. Now let's check it. So we can make conclusion that white hat is a color of facts and information. Our next color is a green color, color of new different ideas. Finally, our last color is blue. If you pay attention, it's a color of decisions and conclusions. Now, viewers, I would like to divide you into six groups. They are whites, yellows, reds, greens, blues, and blacks. Now, I will put these hats on some tables. Who has white hats, please gather to that place. And where I put yellow hat, you should gather to this place. Is it clear? Now, let's choose one fairy tale which you like. Dear participants, which cartoon or fairy tale do you like? Masha and Bea? Okay. I will write here the name of cartoon. White team of a little psychologist. We should give information about this cartoon. For example, where is the location of this fairy tale? Forest. Okay, we will write forest. And how many heroes are there here? Masha, Bea, two wolves, and some more and some more forest animals. So more than ten, right? Red, what emotion does Masha have? Happiness. Angriness. Black tell the negative size of Masha. Now tell the negative size of bear. Very well. Yellow tell the positive size of Masha. Okay, now tell the negative side of bear. Right. Dear Greens, you should make some change in this fairy tale. Turn all negative sides of these characters into a positive and remake this cartoon. And blues, you should make conclusion, tell the moral of the story. So, what is the moral of this cartoon? Children, they should obey adults, right? Now, I will show you a new cartoon. You should watch it and work in group. After watching this cartoon, you should discuss in group. Why you should get the information. And rest, you should tell about all emotions which this cartoon showed. And blacks, you will criticize only negative sides, and yellows, you should tell only positive sides. Greens, you should work creatively and give some new ideas. And blues, you should make conclusion. Is it clear for everybody? If yes, let's begin. Little Red Riding Hood lived in a wood with her mother. One day, Little Red Riding Hood. Now, dears, you have 10 minutes and in these 10 minutes you should work with your group according to the color of your tip you should make conclusion are you ready if you are ready please put your hands on your head then answer to the questions Ask. well done you worked really hard now take your home task your homework is to write about this fairy tale regarding to each color so in white column you should write information about this fairy tale then in the red one you should write about emotion and in yellow you will write positive sides in black negative sides then you should give new creative ideas and finally you should finish with conclusion and give the moral of the story when you finish please share it with your course mates on google slides or Google Docs or at least share your works with your peers in your telegram groups so your course mates could uh, read it and write review remember after finishing writing and sharing you should write three reviews to your course mates works that's all for today thank you for attention see you next time